welcome back to the show, and I want to thank my guest co-host, Lynn Lockhart, for sticking around. Are you having fun? Absolutely awesome time. Thank you. Well, if you've ever wanted to be an explorer or a scientist, this segment is for you. Joining us here is Ty. Hello, Hi. sir. And of Hi. course, Alexander for, from Change for Kids. You, That's right. You stuck around, so thank you. You're going to play with us today. You've got a few things for us, and it's all Halloween. Inspired. I do. That's right. Well, um, we try every Halloween to come up with a few experiments that we can do that pertain to Halloween. So today we're going to try a really cool experiment with this piece of paper. And this is called goldenrod paper, so we can have, I'm going to hold this up. And we can have you, Lynn, you can spray it out. Lynn, you want to spray them? Oh, Let's right. see. Sorry. Right. Uh, oh, all right. It might be, so it might be cool. So we're going to see something when you gonna spray. We're going to see something really cool. Ready? Right. Let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it's splatter. <laughs> That's right. Ah, there we go. I'm so glad that I wasn't <laughs> holding the paper. <laughs> it's okay. It's just baking got soda it? and water. All right, so that is as you can see, we got, I don't know if we can Yeah, we can, can see, see that. It. The camera will pick that up. All right, so we've got spooky, spooky science, science written right there. It's really cool. It's like blood appearing out of nowhere. So how, do you, how did that even come to be? Alex, Alexander, are you impressed so far? Yeah. Yeah, That's how cool. did you do that? Well, this piece of paper, it's called goldenrod paper, and it tells you the difference between an acid and a base. So because <laughs> baking soda and water makes a basic solution, the paper turns red. If we use acid, it will turn back to yellow. So I have over here a little canister with some baking soda and water, and you guys can actually try Ooh. and write right on this piece of paper. Anything we want? You go. Anything you want. you want. Try something spooky. So like write Happy Halloween or boo. draw a pumpkin. Boo. Or I'm going to write boo. All right, so it's just a thing, and I'll go boo. What are you going to okay. write? Um, I'm just going to write Halloween. That's right. My boo didn't even <laughs> turn out right. <laughs> I'm having a problem with crafts it's scary today. boo. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're writing Happy Halloween. So how does this work? Okay, so the baking soda and water creates a basic solution, and this piece of paper, it will tell you the difference by turning a, col a different color. So just like there's paper called litmus paper, it turns pink or purple, depending yeah. on what, is, uh, what it is, basic or ac acidic, and this turns uh, red when it's basic, and acidic, it turns yellow. Oh, that so is it's really super cool. cool. Look mm -hmm. at that. Yeah, it's awesome. And we also have another one over here. These are actually called algae worms. So in here, we have... Algae worms? chloride. Yeah, that's right. Algae worms. Algae worms. <laughs> algae worms. So you know worms are pretty gooey and they're creepy and a lot of people don't like them. So what we're going to do is while we're, do while we're pouring this one, we're going to do this experiment next. That's all yours, Alexander. So <laughs> we're going to pour in there as you can see what oh, happens. Cool. Wow. These turn into algae worms and we're going to give it 30 seconds to dry up and then we're going to take them out after this experiment. So oh my goodness. Have you always been into science? I have been always into science and I started doing this about two years ago and I got really into it and it's a great activity for kids because what they do is they get to try all the experiments together and then they actually can actually take the knowledge into the real world and a lot of the times when they go to school they can tell the teacher oh I learned this at a birthday party that I did once and they go oh well what'd you learn well I know the goldenrod paper tells me the difference between an acid and a base you're making science fun we are we try to get science as fun as possible and actually our slogan is we're Camellia Center, the Center for Science, Art, and Fun for Kids. That is so true. Yeah. Okay, what, what's next? All right, so our last experiment, this one is really, really cool. And it's messy, I hear. It's pretty messy, so we're going to move all of this away. Back? No, you don't have to okay. stand back, but it's actually really Please. cool. So over here, we have a few Are things. Are you scared? No. You should okay. be scared. Because this, this is Witch's Brew, so we're going to create Witch's Brew right now. And we actually have a nickname for it. It's called Elephant Toothpaste. You'll understand why in a second. Okay. So here inside we have hydrogen, per, um, hydrogen peroxide. It's H2O2. It's a really awesome chemical. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a solution of yeast and water because it needs, we need something right. to start it, right? So over here, I have some water. Oh, it's going to be really cool. So we're going to put the yeast into here, right? About, well, it can be about a tablespoon and a half. I don't know how much to use. Um, it's experimentation, okay. but most of the time it's, you know, you, um, <laughs> you have to try, try and fail. So we make that, and we, we're going to let the yeast rise. Here, you can mix it for now while we're talking. And while he's doing that, I'm going to pour inside a little bit of soap. Mm, green soap. Green soap. That's not really going to do anything. Oh, what okay. we're actually going <laughs> to do is we're going to enhance the color with some oh, green God. food coloring. It smells it too. It does, but that's because that's a hydrogen peroxide. And in fact, if you've ever gotten a cut as a kid, the hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. is what uh, what healed your cuts. Oh, is that the one that burns? It does. It's terrible. It's Weesh. really bad. It's really bad and burns and sucks. Right. So you've mixed that. We'll put this solution Good right job, over here Alexander. for now. 
And what you can do, Alexander, is you can actually take out the worms using the stick. Use the thin end to take out the Ew. worms. And you can show Lynn and Sophia Ew. the worms. Ew, oh, look at that. There you go, you see? So we got some radioactive worms. These are pretty gross, right? And actually, these worms glow in black light. So if we oh. had the lights off, we can put some black light and you can see these worms glow in the dark. That is so that terrific is cool. for Halloween. That's that right. You can cool. decorate your table that way and kids come up and you're like, what is going on here? All right. So the last one. Uh -huh. All right. You ready? Yes. Thank some you. yeast. Let's just put maybe a little bit more in there. Just. He's like a chef. He knows exactly <laughs> how much to put oh, in his yeah. recipe. Well, you know yeast. You, uh, you bake with it. Yes. So technically, we're baking a witch's brew. All right. You ready? Yes. Uh-oh. Stand back, uh -oh. everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so we that. got some green looking goo and you see we call it elephant toothpaste because it comes out looking just like toothpaste. <laughs> it does. And it's really really thick. You can see how thick it is. Look you at that. Touch oh, wow. It? Look at oh. that. Look how thick no, it is. Man. No, wow. you sure? <laughs> what about you guys? You want to touch it? it? Yeah. Go ahead and try it. It's warm too because <laughs> the yeast oh. yeast creates heat yeah, yeah. when it's uh, wow. fermenting. And inside oh. the hydrogen peroxide and the yeast, there's a reaction between the catalase and the yeast and the hydrogen peroxide. It makes the yeast start puffing up, just like if you put hydrogen peroxide on your blood, your blood starts bubbling, right? Right, okay. And then it oh, heals. Really? That's right. That. You're so phenomenal, Ty. Thank you so much for Thank you very around. much. Thank well, you, I Alexander. would shake your hand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alexander, for, st for sharing your story. And of course, my guest co host, Lynn for showing us your craft. Thank it you was for like such me. a great day. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're doing it all over again with some more fabulous guest, uh, guests from the community. <laughs> and we start at four, so check us out. We're gonna continue to play oh, with this pretty fun, right? gunky stuff. Thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow. Gross. <laughs>